Alright guys, what is up and welcome back to another Forza Horizon 4 video. Now in today's video, we are going to be doing some of the races in the new Top Gear story mode. Now I'm actually really stoked for this because I honestly love Top Gear, the British edition, the American edition, I'm not so fond of. But um, yeah guys, let's just get right into it. So we've already done one, the one where we have to go to the festival, but now it looks like we're getting into the tractor, so this should be pretty interesting. Uh, I, I'm like really stoked for this. Ooh, BMW 1M, great car. Hang on, that's my BMW 1M. So like, I if, if if I'm not stupid, I think we might have to drive this thing to the um, tractor. I'm not sure though, because it says something about a tractor in the description. Description. So uh, yeah, my thing. This thing is also very nice. It also sounds good. I mean, I literally just cleaned it. I was gonna smell of onions. Oh, stick. It's electronically restricted oh. to 155 miles an hour, but it can definitely. Oh, shoot! Missed my turn. But yeah, guys, as you can see, we get to actually drive as the character of the stick. Like we get his costume and everything, so that's pretty cool. A little Look attention to detail there. Please leave me some tread for the drive home, Stiggy. Seriously, come on. Am I gonna make it in the right time? This thing keeps spinning and I don't like it. Like, look at that. There's no traction. But yeah, this is like a really well needed um, addition to the game. It's just like such a big part of call culture, this TV show was. So it's pretty cool to see him integrate it into Forza. And that's why I'm so excited for it. But yeah, it would be cool if you could just hop in the AI cars. Sometimes I wish you could do that, but other times it sounds kind of lame. to 60 in 4.8 seconds, my 1M. Stig's way beyond that now. That was a hard breaking right there, dude. So of course it's rear wheel drive. 50-50 weight distribution too. It's a natural born drifter. Hmm. Is it possible for me to cut across a field when oh no, it's just straight on the highway. Alright. Easy easy. But yeah, there's a bunch of new cars coming to this game that I'm just so excited for, such as the Ranger Raptor, the Raptor Ranger, I forget what it's called, the Mercedes 6x6. We actually get to drive a flat by semi in one of these story modes, or one of the story mode missions. So that's, uh, that's gonna be kind of interesting. I'm just gonna send it through here. Three litre straight six, 335 horsepower, two turbos, as much sideways action as you like. This thing is a really small car for a twin turbo in line six. Oh, what a shame. I was really getting into that. Just park it up now, stick, and uh, find the curbs. Wait, what? Did I miss? What did I miss? Didn't I? Didn't I cross the finish line? Wait a minute. Is it on the other side of the highway? Oh, park your car in the destination. Anyone else want to go? No? Don't say I didn't ask. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we're gonna be doing from here. Oh yeah. Right. This is what that we've all been waiting for, guys. Oh my god, this thing looks crazy. This is Top Gear's track tour. It's a tractor, obviously. Like my the god, what the heck? Seven Chevy V8 making 500 horsepower. Oh my goodness. And here comes the stig again. Farm stig. Born in a barn, they say. Weaned by pigs. Can plow a field in under six seconds. What? Okay, guys, let's do this. Oh, my God. There's a speed camera on the M68. Rumor has it... it and it sounds good. ...87.2 miles an hour. Our tractor has been officially clocked at 87.2 oh miles an hour, making it the world's fastest tractor. But I reckon it will go even faster. What the heck even is this thing? 
And it sounds good too, that's the funny part. There's a passenger seat, what the heck is this? I think this thing might be from like season 11 of Top Gear, I'm not sure though. Um, quote me if I'm wrong, but I don't, I'm, I'm pretty positive that's when it's from. But there's a lot of body roll, um, which is to be expected, but still dude, this thing is zooming. Why am I slowing down? I gotta drop a gear. Steady on stick. Play the 54 inch montage, remember? They get a bit squishy through the corners. Nobody needs to get the harvest in that quickly. <laughs> Just cruise control at 122. That's okay with me. Oh my god, why are you cutting me off? See, this game has zero logic. If you see a tractor coming at you at 120 miles an hour, I think you might want to move. Here comes the speed camera. Hope they put some film in it. Wow! Have you ever seen anything like it? That's a new track to speed record. Dude, That's this thing, I love that farming. thing. If you want to spread slurry in a hurry, you know what you need. Spread now, slurry in a hurry. It's time to hail a ride in something completely different. And guys, like every event that I get two stars on, I'm gonna come back and then just uh, finish it up for three stars. Um, because I do think there's a reward at the end, like most story modes, and um. I'm wondering, what I'm wondering is like, if you get cars as you progress through it, or if it's just one car at the end. Because the rest of them come in the festival playlist, like a lot of the good ones come in the festival playlist. So. Alright, let's see what we got up next. I think we'll do two more after this one. The Austin Taxi. Oh my god, another Austin Taxi. Here we go. This thing tends to be a little bit crazy. Yep, it's the I HS the taxi earlier. too. Local company, Aisha's Taxis. Excellent service, got me here in no time. Unsurprising, really. I mean, look at what turned up. Hands down, the quickest cab I've ever been in. Which got me thinking, how fast could this thing actually go? Oh boy. Pretty fast, that's for sure. So I had a word with Aisha. Asked if we could borrow her cab for a trip to the seaside. To Bamborough Beach, in fact. Talk about spinning, my god. Legs a bit. Although... I might have forgotten to tell her who'd be driving. You've guessed it. The cabbie who'll always get you to your destination very early, but very high concentration. Where you asked to go. It has pretty good traction once you start going though. Hang on, I gotta <laughs> slow down for this corner a little bit better. This could be a cheap ride. Oh god. See, like in corners, I, it's questionable. <laughs> It is questionable, but you just have to like slow down a lot for a even a chance at the corner. Oh my god, a big corner coming up. Now that's what I call it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, guys, I'm dying. What is happening? This thing is way too squirrely. Like, I've driven this before, but I think it was on like a race tires or something and it wasn't this bad. Slow in the corner. <clears throat> From now on, I say all cabs should have wide bodies and flared arches. Think about it. More I'm just gonna cut through this more field. Speed, more downforce. More room for your terrified passengers. Yeah, this is definitely a wise idea. I'm gonna get on the road back here. Oh my god, that was basically perfect, guys. Oh my god. So they should be interesting when we hit the beach. This thing is not on slicks. It is way too slippery. <laughs> well, then again, we're in the rain. Slicks and rain don't go together at, at all. Okay, well, that's just plain out rude. I had the right away. I'm just kidding. But yeah, it's cool to see them incorporate some other cars other than just top gear cars into the mission. Or the story mode missions. I don't know.
Oh boy. I gotta hit the brakes way harder than that. I am so bad at taking corners. I have probably rewinded like 20 times this episode. Oh, we're off-roading, okay. Light on the throttle here. I say that as I'm banging the rev limiter. This is, this is amazing. Oh my god, there's huge puddles and everything. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? I just completely went off course. Should I just run down to the beach and then just take it like a straight shot? Oh no, because it's really hilly. I forgot about that. That could be a slight flaw in my plan. We'll make it in four minutes, so I mean, come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. This thing looks like a bar of soap. Like... I'm sorry, but it's true. I just keep thinking of that. A wide body taxi. And we are here. Good work from the stick there. I'd say we're nicely warmed up for the next bit. Oh god, I forgot there's a next part to this. So here we are then. In the old days, daredevils used smooth, sandy beaches like this to see how fast their cars could go. Many early land speed records were set on beaches. Miles of space, nothing to hit. Sounds easy, right? No, not on slicks, it's not. Oh, look at that! Laying some pretty squirmy tracks there, Stiggy. That's what happens with 750 horsepower on sand. But that's the challenge here. Go as fast as possible all the way to the top of the beach. The thing is, there's something I haven't told the stick. All right, we're cruising now. We spun through fifth, but that's all right. rules say you must do two runs one in each direction before the clock runs out which means Stiggy pulling off the world's swiftest U-turn which of course is when the handbrake comes in handy I'm not gonna make it there's no way I'm gonna make it oh wait I might yeah I think I, I, I might guys it's cutting it close you can see in the top left corner we have 14 seconds all right Oh my god. Oh my god. A five what? Star ride from the stick there. Mini Did I make it? Does that count? Next time I need a ride to the airport, I know who I'm calling. And all of this off-road action is giving Oh my god, guys, it didn't count. Should I restart? I'm going to retry that because um that's kind of bogus. I mean, I was 0. 0.2 seconds late. Like what the heck? That is so unfair. Oh, look at that. Laying some pretty squirmy tracks there, Stiggy. That's what happens with 750 horsepower on sand. But that's the challenge here. Go as fast as possible all the way to the top of the beach. The thing is, there's something I haven't told the Stig. So I'm gonna prepare for a U-turn when I get up here. And then maybe I could get there <laughs> in the amount of time that I have. So you must do two runs. Oh wait, no. I forgot. I forgot there is no cutscene in between that. Oopsies. Okay. So I'm gonna have to slow down and then be prepared to turn One around. Each direction before the clock runs out. Which means Stiggy pulling off the world's swiftest U-turn. Which of course is when the handbrake comes in handy. My god, can I stop moving? Okay. I don't think it's gonna be much better this time, to be totally honest.
Wait, we made it. We passed the... Wait, what? Wait a minute, what? Okay, guys, I'll just see you back once I finally get three stars on this, because I am just... I'm confused here. Alright, guys, so it turns out I didn't cross the finish line, so I just ended up restarting the race again. Um, so, let's see if we can cross it, actually, this time, and then get back within 1 minute and 14 seconds. So we're gonna wanna get there, but then slow down so like we cross the finish line, but we have like time to make a quick future and if that makes any sense. So slow down. Speed record rules say you must Pass do it. two runs, one in and each now, before the clock runs out. Which I have to get it all the way back the over here. Alright, I think we got a better run this time. Oh god, there is no way I'm gonna make it. I spent too much time going 90 miles an hour. Yeah, dude, there's no way. Oh, I made it. Okay, well, that's fine. Barely made it. I had 0.3 seconds left. A little bit less than that, actually. And three stars. Alright. I didn't actually see what I got for a reward there. I think it was a car. Um, so. I, I doubt it, but I thought I seen something about a Mercedes. Um, yep, no, 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 no new car. Except maybe that, but I think I already had that, so. All right, guys, um, I guess we should just do one more, and then I'm going to end the video there. Um, all the off-road you could eat. Is there anything about, like, winning a vehicle? No. But, guys, we are almost done already with this. So, let's see. How many are there in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, there's, like, wait. I have to count again. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Okay. So, um, I've already done three. So I'll do one more, and then I'll just save the rest for another video, and then we could showcase some of the new cars in the festival playlist, and everything's gonna be good. See, this is this is one of my favorite cars. It's a modified Merc built by the Top Gear magazine team for finding bears in the woods. Not many bears around here, though. Mostly badgers. Still, Wait, I wonder if this thing was actually built for that. That's actually pretty cool. That's a cool fact. Here's Stig again, looking lost. Terrified of maps, apparently. Inner compass points directly south. Alright, guys. So this is one of the cars that I'm actually really excited to drive. This is probably one of my favorite cars in the new update. Miles an hour on the road, but where we're going, but like, we oh my god, it is a diesel. Listen to that. It's a, trip to the top of Glen it's a funky sounding diesel. And the clock, naturally. But yeah, this thing just looks insane. And a roof rack for carrying... Extra knobbly tires. Yeah, I was really excited when I seen this thing was gonna be coming to the game. It just looks so cool and it's so different from all the other cars. It sounds like the Nissan Titan and Horizon 3 for some reason. Oh god. That's a four-wheel drive car. Tires completely sideways. You'd do well in rallying with skills like that. Top draw drifting, I reckon. <laughs> Wait, what? How did I hit him? I did not think I was in like I did not think I was in the path of him, but okay. The EAT has four-wheel drive and air suspension to smooth out lumps and bumps and everyday obstacles. Ancient burial mounds, for example. Imagine if Mercedes like came out with a option for this, like a different package. I would imagine it would be pretty expensive, like, um, what would it be called, like an Outlander package or something weird like that? I don't know. Um, 
Um, I'm just gonna take a little shortcut here. Who he needs roads with this thing? I mean, come on. So I'm climbing all the way up the mountain. And if you really want to smash stuff up, there's even a pickaxe in the back. That's some proper hang time. Actual air suspension. It also has 340 horsepower, more torque than Holy a cruise crap. ship. Holy crap. Gets 60 miles an hour in just over 5 seconds. More torque than a cruise ship? I highly doubt that. This is probably going to take me way longer than just taking the actual road, but... Oh my god, it's actually cli That was nearly a vertical climb, and this thing just beasted through. I stay incorrected, okay. Well, um, apparently some rocks can stop us, but a vertical hill can't, so... You know, you know, it's all good. So I think there's a little clearing to the left over here that we could take and maybe get up. Yeah. Alright, that probably took us even longer than just using the actual road, but that's alright, that's alright. But yeah, I keep saying this, but this thing just looks insane. I love it. Now it's time to head way over there to the Wait, what? Top of Arthur's... Wait, what? Oh my god, Arthur's Peak is on the other side of the freaking map. Why did he make me climb up here just to go all the way back down? But first, what goes up must come down. Alright, well, it looks like we're just gonna send it. Um, that's all we could really do at this point. But yeah, you can see the train yard up, down there. Um, I sensed that we were gonna flip over there, so I just reset. Yeah. The graphics in this game are just insane, though. Holy crap. This thing is nice though. I it, it feels like it just rides smoother over anything. Like all the trucks feel really rigid, but this thing feels like it's like weird. Like with the vibration on the controller, it just feels like it's going over it way smoother. More suspension travel. I think that's what it could be. So far, we're making pretty good time, except um, that tree wants to do something mean to us, so uh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, surprisingly, we're actually doing uh, pretty good. Considering we just drove all the way down a hill, and now we're cutting through a soccer game, that's amazing. Now I'm just gonna take the roads, because in Edinburgh, yeah, there's those walls around. Now I don't even know where I should go. I think I just completely screwed myself over. <laughs> Because these walls in Edinburgh tend to last, like, forever. So, I think we just ended our, uh, I think that wall just ended my career. <laughs> Guys, this is not good. What the heck? Wall, why are you here? And these things literally last forever, and it's kind of annoying. Yeah, we're not gonna make it, but, um... That's alright. There's probably gonna be another wall over here. I'm just trying to cut my time down, yeah. Alright, guys. Well, since we completely just cucked ourselves, I think we should just do this mission and the rest of the missions um, in the next video tomorrow. But one thing I want to do is check in the festival playlist to see if that's been updated yet or if it's still in uh, um, whatever season it's in. Yeah, it's still in the season, guys, but if you want to go check out the video, um, I have a link in the description to a video where I explain to you how to, like, time travel. So if that's not patched, this will basically allow you to just, like, get all the cards from the uh, upcoming playlists, and it's actually really useful, so I'll leave a link to that down below. 
But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's little overview of the new Top Gear Story Mode. There's a bunch of new features and cars that I'll cover in tomorrow's video. But yeah, guys, I hope this is somewhat informative, entertaining, and I hope you enjoyed. So, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.